1982. Jenny, thank you very much. And new my congratulations to you on securing the nomination. Um, the, you're, you're absolutely right uh, to, to say that uh, there has been uh, a 6% uh, rise in uh, rough sleeping, I, I, I believe, uh, but that doesn't reveal the very significant success that uh, we've been having, the London Delivery Board has been having, uh, with uh, dealing with entrenched rough sleepers. And I think it would be fair to say that the overwhelming majority of people now do not sleep uh, rough for uh, uh, a long period. There's been a, th a three-quarters reduction amongst the most entrenched rough sleepers. I think there was one, one poor guy who had been, who'd slept rough in London for 42 years uh, who uh, was helped to find the support and the uh, accommodation that he needed. Because very often, when you're, rough sleeping is, is a very complex social issue. And you're dealing with people who have a range of different things that have gone wrong in their lives uh, that lead them to uh, to sleep rough, and so you, the, the, a number of, of different factors have to be addressed. And uh, you, we have we have so we've, we've reduced the number of, of entrenched rough sleepers by by three quarters, and we've also uh, been able uh, to make sure that half of rough sleepers don't spend more than a single night out on the street. So the, the, the No Second Night initiative has also been, uh, been very successful. I, mean, I know you care about this because you set a target for its elimination and I'm, I'm glad to hear that you do know that it, it is in fact rising because um, Broadway's database shows that 186 more people slept rough in the first three months of this year than last year. So it's an increasing problem once again for all sorts of factors. Uh, and, and you are aware, of course, that provision for those rough sleepers is actually going down at the same time as the number of rough sleepers is going up. That's right. They don't forget. Uh, I, I mean, when I say that's right, don't forget that uh, we secure, because I think the government recognised that the GLA has shown a lead on this and that we've tried uh, at a London-wide level to tackle it by setting up the London Delivery Board that Rick Blakeway uh, initiated. Don't forget, they, 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 they allocated a, um, a budget uh, of £34 million which we intend to use with all those bodies, all the, all the charities, all the huge range of people across London who are some mongers, all the, all the people who are working uh, to uh, help rough sleepers to find the, ch find the changes in their lives they need to make in order to uh, to, to get off the streets. The, the, the problem, though, is that numbers are rising, provision for those people is going down, and regardless of the money that is being spent, provision is still going down. There are still cuts being experienced. I mean, I've got a direct request from Bernardo's, which is just a few minutes' walk from here. They, they, wanted, they wanted if you would go there and actually talk to them so they can explain, because all their, all their funding is being cut from August, and that means there is a reduction in... And, and last year, they, they um, put up over 600 people. So that provision will be completely okay. gone. Well, thanks, Jenny. We'll look at uh, what Bernardo's uh, request. It may, may be that it's possible to fund them from uh, some of the funds that we've uh, that have been made available to us. I, I'm not certain, uh, but obviously uh, I will make sure that um, I think I will get down there and, and talk to them as soon as I as I reasonably can. Uh, it, it may not be imminently, well, uh, but, uh, but at, the very, at the very least, uh, since since you know, obviously we work with them very closely on the London Delivery Board. I'm sure that Rick will be talking to them. But they will be closed in August um, because they've lost their, their London Council's funding, for example. A lot of the money that was given by the government for um, this provision has, in fact, it wasn't ring-fenced, and so it's just gone on, because councils are so cash-strapped now, it's gone okay. on other things. So I, I wasn't aware that they, they faced such an imminent deadline. Let's, let's see what we can do to, to, to help them. If we can do something, uh, all, well, all well and good. I'll, I'll get uh, Rick Blakeway onto it. Thank you.